क्या साथ करें हम तो बिल्कुल खुश हैं एक महीना हुआ है आज तक सर्जरी होके हमें आपका नाम बताइए हेमा शंकर आदूरी क्या प्रॉब्लम हुआ मुझे एक दिन बाथरूम में नहा के दिल खोल रहा था ये हाथ एक पैर एकदम इतना सूर हो गया इतना सूरना लिफ्ट में लेग गया बैठा है लकीली दी बाथरूम वॉज नॉट बोल्टेड फ्रॉम इन साइड सो आई कॉल्ड है सो शी टुक मी आउट ऑफ द बाथरूम थोड़ा फोन किया मैंने खाना खाने हो गया तो खाना खाने का भी मूड नहीं था तो वैसे ही सो गया दिस इज अराउंड वन थर्टी इन द नाइट एट फोर थर्टी वी गॉट अप वेन टू प्रीम एन आर आई हॉस्पिटल विच इज वेरी क्लोज टू आवर हाउस वन डॉक्टर हैज रेफर्ड मी टू डॉक्टर दलाल I was uh, uh, initially I was uh, hesitant to go for the uh, angio because I was thinking that angioscopy is only for heart related diseases. Then my daughter is also a doctor practicing in UK. They had some discussion and somehow with some sort of compulsion and uh, conviction, they made me ready for the surgery. And surgery, when I am doctor, I don't know where the surgery was done. I don't have it in a single wound or drop of blood drawn off my arm. Now I am very happy. My father will follow up with my studio practice. My doctor will be attending both the time. It's just like my son. And today I am able to walk a little bit with the support, and I am hopeful of getting further recovery also. In the itself, my bad luck that I gave tension and everything to my family members who are in abroad. Both of them, my daughter and son, came all the way from abroad to here. They met the doctor. They were very happy with the development, and they asked me a question. Recently, I have sent my video to them by WhatsApp. After the one, the salon Uh, Mr. Hemant Sankar came to us with uh, acute subarachnoid hemorrhage with uh, sudden severe onset of headache and weakness on one side of the body. We did an angiogram and uh, we found uh, he had two aneurysm on either side. The left side he had a uh, anterocorridal aneurysm which was blind and uh, the right side he had uh, MC bifurcation aneurysm. So we coiled uh, both of them in acute setting with uh, balloon assisted coiling. and after the coiling he has recovered completely and uh, he is doing well so this gentleman uh, came to us with acute subarachnoid hemorrhage we are doing an angiogram angiogram demonstrating there is a ruptured uh, left anterocorridal with a right mc bifurcation aneurysm we can see the right bifurcation aneurysm here and uh, uh, this is uh, on the left side which has uh, bled the uh, anterocorridal so we are going to treat uh, both this aneurysm uh, by balloon assisted coiling so we start with the left anterocorridal aneurysm and then we mm. will go ahead mm. with the coiling of the right mc bifurcation aneurysm so we are negotiating uh, into the aneurysm here uh, here we can see the anterocorridal is coming from the neck of this aneurysm so we have to uh, coil in such a way that we just leave this anterocorridal and uh, coil the aneurysm so maybe a little bit of neck has to be left to take care of the flow into the anterocorridal so we are coiling it uh, simply getting a catheter inside and uh, we are trying to get rid of this aneurysm leaving a little bit of uh, neck at the level of uh, anterocorridal origin uh, we see here there is a partial opacification of this aneurysm we want to put another coil But our catheter has jumped out from this small space, so we will navigate a balloon across, and uh, then we will put the catheter and put another coil, a uh, micro coil, so that we have uh, enough mass inside uh, this aneurysm. So we have taken a balloon across the aneurysm, and we have uh, put another coil. It looks uh, pretty okay right now. And here we see the final angiogram where uh, the aneurysm is completely taken care of. with a nice coil mass and uh, the anterocorridal is flowing uh, beautifully well so this is perfectly done so we will go to the right side now and uh, take care of the mc bifurcation aneurysm
So here we can see the right empty bifurcation aneurysm, which is a large enough aneurysm, need to be treated. Uh, here we have the balloon across uh, this right uh, MC bifurcation aneurysm. Then we take our coiling catheter and uh, occlude the aneurysm and, and come out. So with the balloon inflated, uh, we are pushing here with a 8 into 30 uh, large coil. It's a 3D coil. We try to create a nice basket so that we have a good end result. And we make it a point that we deflate the balloon under a blank roadmap guidance to see the stability of the coil mass inside the aneurysm, which looks pretty good here. So the aneurysm looks uh, pretty well coiled. Uh, but we need to fill it up a little more, which we will do. Uh, the coil is moving inside the basket nicely. Well coiled now and uh, beautiful flow across into the M2 divisions. See how beautifully uh, the both aneurysms are coiled. There is no pacification of uh, either of the aneurysm whatsoever, and uh, the distal branch is filling uh, very, very nicely. So here we will uh, stop the procedure. And both uh, the left anterocoridal, which was ruptured, and the large MC bartoxin aneurysm, both are coiled in the same sitting, and uh, the patient is doing fantastic.